So you must have clicked on this video to start learning how to generate leads in real estate in 2022 this year, starting today of what you can do to start getting business in your pipeline, start getting seller leads, start getting buyer leads, and just growing your business in general and build that momentum. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top three ways to generate leads in real estate and what is working today, what is helping me get business, and this is gonna help you. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And don't forget to click that like button, go subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's get right into it. So going right into it, typically I like to start with the one that is least and going up to the one that is the most best way to generate leads, but I think I'm going to switch it around today and we're going to start with number one. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you probably already know what my number one is and it still is till this day from when I started real estate two years ago and that is social media. A lot of real estate agents, a lot of the experienced ones I like to say, they don't recognize how much social media is crucial to one's business, especially when you're starting up as a new real estate agent. Social media is the new generation. That's what everyone is looking at. You know, a lot of people are at home because they're sick or, you know, just different things in general. And where are they mostly at? They're mostly on their phones. They're mostly on social media trying to figure out what's happening within the world, what's happening with the stock market, what's happening with the housing market. So with them being on social media, that's where you come in and your videos start popping up. Whatever content you're creating starts popping up. But I want to dive in deeper and talk about the platforms that I recommend because not all platforms are the greatest, but it's all about maximizing those platforms and the way you use it to help increase your exposure to help take your business to that next level. Now, the first platform I want to talk about is YouTube. And if you're a new real estate agent, even if you're experienced, you've got to start doing this right now in 2022 as more people start transitioning to online. And that is to create a YouTube channel. All right. You want to start targeting your local area, start making videos about living in Harrisburg, PA, moving to Harrisburg, PA, investing in Harrisburg, PA, different videos along the lines of that. And you can also, you know, be more broad and talk about the best cities to move to in Pennsylvania, different stuff like that regarding to your specific area that will help with SEO optimization. So whenever someone types in the Google, they need to move or looking to move to Harrisburg or Pennsylvania, different stuff like that, your video is going to pop up and between a video and an article, more people are inclined to watch a video and be more interested in that than listen, than uh, look at a whole article. So I recommend you start making videos, start utilizing that SEO, and you really have to focus on your titles um, and your thumbnails just to make that video pop to make sure people click on that video. Now, another thing I recommend doing on YouTube is you also want to post some house tours. So what I recommend is reaching out to other agents within your brokerage, even outside of your brokerage, uh, some agents will, you know, be open enough to allow you to film some video content within their listing. Now you want to make sure that you are asking. Um, I typically ask through email. Uh, you could make a phone call, but make sure you are asking for permission before you are just doing it and just, you know, recording the home there. So that is a huge way how I get leads. A lot of people see me post my video tours on YouTube and all my social media platforms. And that is just a great way to show that you are really out there in the business and you're getting, you're getting stuff done and people love to see that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is TikTok and TikTok is a great app. I actually closed a referral from that not too long ago. So it, you know, even though it's a kid's app, deals are there to be made lots of deals there are a lot of people you know 18 and older um 25 and older 30 and older on this app that are looking to purchase a house and some people may looking to sell a house some people uh, may be looking to invest in a house different stuff along the lines of that you want to make sure you create a TikTok account and you want to take over and when i mean take over you want to start being consistent on the app every single day Yes, I said it every single day. Before, I used to post once a day early on when I um, got into TikTok and then I kind of slowed down and stopped even though my growth was going up. But now, 
within two months I've been posting twice a day every single day and from November of 2021 to now January 2022 I gained around like 40,000 subscribers or so and I'm gonna show you here like I had 24,000 and now I'm at 66,000 and it's continuing to grow each and every day so it's insane the amount of growth that goes into it which you with you posting twice a day instead of one time a day instead of po you know not posting at all so you want to be as consistent on that app as possible and it just opens doors to you know so many different things it helps you grow your branding it helps you get in front of buyers it helps you get in front of sellers and it also helps you get in front of agents and you also do want to get in front of agents just because there's going to be that one agent that has that referral within your area that they may not be in that area to be able to do it and they want to refer it to you. So that's where referrals come in. So you have to think about the all, all the different aspects of things. So TikTok is a great way and same with YouTube. I get a lot of referrals from YouTube. So people see that you're actually putting in the work and you want agents to see that as well so that you get those referrals. Now the last two social media platforms I want to touch on is Facebook and Instagram. Uh, those are great platforms as well. I recommend Facebook over Instagram just because Facebook is an older audience. So you do want to make sure you're posting on there and staying connected with your audience on that platform. I recommend when you are new that you start adding a whole bunch of people within your area. Make sure they are in your area. Don't add random people outside of your area. And when you are adding them, you want to make sure you message each one individually, kind of letting them know that you're a real estate agent and kind of have that introduction there uh, just so whenever real estate comes to mind, they think of you. Instagram, you will also want to hop on Instagram Reels and typically to make it easier for some people because I know a lot of video content can be stressful, what I typically do is I take my TikToks and I'll screen record them before I post it on TikTok so it doesn't have the watermark and I take my TikTok videos and re-upload them to my Instagram reels and they do great on there as well so that's just kind of you know making things a little bit easier for you if you're you know not into making all this content now that we went over the social media aspect the number one thing that I recommend you do let's talk about the second thing and that is cold calling a lot of people thought that I stopped cold calling but I actually got back into it not too long ago because I just felt that I was leaving so much stuff on the table and you know with social media being a great way to generate leads you still have some free time and I felt that I needed to do more I felt that I'm 21 and I know that I have so much more energy where I could be putting that towards something else to helping me grow and that's where cold calling came into play and some people think cold calling is you know back like so old such a le older lead generation strategy but it doesn't matter if it's old doesn't matter if it's new the only thing that matters is if it works and cold calling does work I recently got my first flip under contract from cold calling the seller lead and I wasn't even calling to to invest I was just calling for a listing appointment basically so different things can happen from cold calling so I recommend everyone start cold calling and you may be asking Stephanie who are you cold calling or who should I even cold call and now what I recommend is geo leads and geo leads is just calling you know finding a property that recently sold within the area and then within that area you just call the neighbors from that and just say hey you know a property recently sold within your area just didn't know if there's anything I could do for you and that's Ricky Carew's script if you guys were wondering and it's such a low pressure approach where they feel like you're not trying to sell them but you're there to help them and that opens up the conversation a whole lot more so that's what I recommend you start doing there's other people you can call for sell by owners expired listings um, you know the list goes on now I did call for sell by owners do I recommend it no because for me I don't want to discount my commission you know a lot of the for sale by owners go for sale by owner just because they don't want to pay a real estate agent and I don't have that time to just keep going back and forth with that for sale by owner that's being so stingy and wants their house overpriced so that's just my thoughts on it you know other agents they do great with for sale by owners which is you know awesome for them I just focus on geo leads and I focus on social media 
Now, the last and final thing that I recommend you do that has been working for me, and that is networking. Um, some people's like networking, like I'm already doing that. Okay, you know, good for you. That's awesome that you're already doing it. Thumbs up. But take it to another level. You're not doing it enough. All right, start taking someone out to eat once a week. You know, start meeting people, start meeting investors, start um, networking more with your sphere of influence so you stay top of mind. Different stuff like that is gonna go a long way. And also, I recommend you start going to meetups within your area, whether it's on Zoom, uh, whether it's in person, go to them. Start introducing yourself to people. Walk right up. Hi, my name is Stephanie. You know, if you're new to the area, say you're new to the area, you're trying to learn something. Like, I don't know what, what to say, but like, literally when I do it, when I go up to people, it just kind of flows. Um, I just kind of introduce myself, say who I am, and then um, just kind of go like that. Like, literally, you can't be nervous. You just got to let it flow. Just let it flow, and it's it's going to be all good. So start networking. That's what I highly recommend you do. Let me know if this video helped you in any way, and if it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And with that being said, like I said, I do have a surprise for you guys within a couple of weeks or so. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, once it's all finalized, then I'm going to make that announcement. And I think a lot of you guys are going to love this. Um, so I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, but that is going to be coming soon. So stay tuned for that announcement. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.